sponsors. So uh, with everyone here at Full Force, it was, it was pretty exciting. How did you get into racing? Uh, did you always have the need for speed? You know, I blame my dad, really. It's, uh, he was always a, a racing fan, and we'd go to races and watch races all the time. And for my ninth birthday, I got a go-kart, and it kind of went from there. I raced karts up until I was 16, then I jumped into cars, and here we are now. You're driving something called a Formula Atlantic car. You're going to have to help me out. How is that different from other cars? Well, the, uh, the top series that's here this weekend is, of course, the Champ Cars, and we're the, the, finals, uh, the final rung in the ladder up to Champ Cars, if you will. So it's similar concept. It's an open-wheel, single-seater formula car. It's just got a little less horsepower, a little less downforce uh, than the Champ Cars. So it's basically just a training tool for us to move up into Champ Car one day. Now, our viewers may or may not, may probably notice how cool, calm, collected you are with a microphone. That's because you're a broadcaster, too. Yeah, I, uh, I've got the chance to uh, dive into broadcasting a little bit this year with commentating on some of the champ car races. So it's uh, something I've always had an interest in doing, but something I thought I maybe maybe would do later in my career after the racing was done. But if I get the chance to do them both now, why not, right? Well, clearly racing is in your blood, uh, whether you report or you are racing. What is it about racing that that you just love? It, there's so much. It's absolutely everything. I mean, obviously the thrill of driving a car fast and uh, the exhilaration of winning are two things in the own. But the whole atmosphere, the, the the philosophies, the lifestyle, it's just it suits my personality and my way of life so well. So whether I'm behind the wheel, behind the wall, or behind the microphone, I'll be involved in racing for the rest of my life, no doubt. Talk me through this weekend. I know you. Th this afternoon is when you start. What happens as the weekend goes on? Well, uh, we actually were on track yesterday and had a few practice sessions yesterday and another one this morning, and then this afternoon we'll qualify, so that'll set the grid for, uh, for tomorrow's race. And it's a tough track, really tricky track here in Toronto, so it's going to be important to qualify well and try and uh, bring home a good result for the hometown crowd. What's tricky about Toronto's track? Well, any street circuit you come to, the walls are all obviously, uh, they're all right there, and the surface is very slick because you're running on, on public roads, essentially. So there's not a lot of grip and absolutely zero room for error with concrete walls lining the whole track. And uh, what about Team Hinchcliffe? Are they lining the route? Yeah, my, uh, my parents and my family actually sprung for one of the pit, pit suites uh, up here, so I've got a... A th uh, following of about a hundred and some odd people here this weekend, so it's uh, been a lot of support, and even from just just general fans around uh, around the paddock, and obviously a lot of media attention. So uh, it's been fantastic. The support from everyone in Canada has just been phenomenal. That's great, James. Thank you so much, and good luck. Thank you so much for having me here. Oh, no problem. That's James Hinchcliffe at the Toronto Indy.